Hey guys, welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. Another new spot that I was gonna take you guys today until the computer died. So for now, have a quick look at the scenes and we'll jump right into this reaction. Without further ado, we're gonna have a look at this video. If you like it, hit the likes up. Hit the thumbs up. If you dislike it, hit the thumbs down. If you wanna see more, subscribe and roll it. America's in the stress, put our future on the line, look around, it's a mess, we took a turn. Now everything you say is offensive, and we slowly losing our freedom and got no defense. Hey, so far he's jumped right into it with the facts. Let's back that up all the way back. We're gonna run it all the way back. Who am I making sir? America's in the stress. Put our future on the line. Look around, it's a mess. We took a turn. Now everything you say is offensive. And we slowly losing our freedom and got no defense. We can raise the black flag if they want war. Had mercy for the enemy, but don't know more. We can raise the black flag if they want war. Had mercy for the enemy, but don't know more. I have a message from America, America, but I don't know what I can say. They want to silence my voice, taking amendments Come away. On. Why California feel like communism out in L.A.? With I've lived in a few states, and California is the only one that really feels like communism. I see my parents living in it right now. It's, it's getting there. But I definitely, I have zero mercy for any of the enemy. If you're out running the streets, destroying your own neighborhoods, running amok, not acting like Americans, someone needs to whoop that ass. I want to silence my voice, taking amendments away. Why California feel like communism out in LA? With 20,000 troops in DC, gave them nowhere to stay. When Donald Trump left, he left that shit perfect in place. Hey, 20,000 soldiers with nowhere to sleep? You know who, who solved that? Who said they could stay in this hotel? Just saying. Just saying. 20,000 troops in D.C. gave him nowhere to stay. When Donald Trump left, he left that shit perfect in place. But Biden killed thousands of jobs on his very first day. Yeah, that's crazy. And I ain't even come to preach no manga word. But China's got ships around our coast, if you haven't heard. Now, I don't know if that's a problem for you. But I ain't trying to go out like that after all I've been through. Our Constitution died. I just went and bought me a suit. See, a sick hope for the girls, Patriots probably gonna shoot. I shouldn't address this, but some men in some dresses can now piss in the ladies' room with your teenage daughter. But hey, equality, right? Ain't nothing equality about that. I don't give a damn what bathroom you think you should be using. You better be using the one at your house. I'm not that kind of a, a person. Nor will I be that kind of a father. I understand the parents that are a little bit pissed off about that. They have every right to be. Some dresses can now piss in the ladies' room with your teenage with your daughter. Teenage but hey, daughters. equality, right? Tell it to the future victims all around the country. Life's about to get harder. We're making sign. America's in distress. Put our future on the line. Look around, it's a mess. We took a turn. Now everything you say is offensive. And we slowly losing our freedom. Ain't got no defense. We can raise the black flag if they want war. Had mercy for the enemy, but don't know more. We can raise the black flag if they want war. Had mercy for the enemy, but don't know more. Now they pushing vaccines on us. Kind of feel like population control, if I'm being honest. Side effects, cerebral palsy and death. But yet they give it to us. And Anyone who doesn't believe that there's a depopulation agenda somewhere is clearly lost in the sauce. Think about it, people. The world has been growing at an exponential rate since forever. Of course we're overpopulated. Of course it's an issue. Of course there's going to be some way to deal with that issue. How are you going to do it? Are you going to send people to live on Mars? You can't yet. So... Before anybody tells me that there's not, better go look up those Georgia Guidestones. Well, if I'm being honest, side effects, cerebral palsy and death, but yet they give it to us and expect us all to eject. We the people, be the pawns, the punching bags, the beat up on. The media conceals a bunch of truth that you should read about. You read about. People acting like they woke. I say America's been stolen. They just laugh like it's a joke. Like it's a joke. Ain't gonna be nobody laughing in the end Because your loss is my loss And they just master in they plan Aren't you excited? While hate is so invited Our states are not united Our races are divided You still need proof of the elite When the American president Couldn't even make a tweet On what them trading apps did for hedge funds On Wall Street and stole from millions of 
people in GameStop and AMC and what we do. And what we sit back and take it, we'll get the loot. Long as they have that Dominion voting system, we screwed. And that's the truth. And that's the truth. And that's the truth. As long as we're using that stupid Dominion system, we're screwed. It's just the bottom line. I'm not saying that the election was rigged. I'm saying enough wasn't looked into to see that it wasn't rigged. That can take it, we'll get the loot. Long as they have that Dominion voting system, we screwed. And that's the truth. And that's the truth. So patriots take a stand. Cause don't nobody care about that SOS in the sand. We're making certain America's in distress. With our future on the line. Look around, it's a mess. We took a turn. Now everything you say is offensive. And we slowly losing our freedom and got no defense. We can raise the black flag if they want war. Have mercy for the enemy, but don't know more. We can raise the black flag if they want war. Have mercy for the enemy, but don't know more. Fantastic, fantastic message by Burden. Honestly, if you want to turn America into a shithole, go move to a shithole. It's as simple as that. There's people fighting and dying and sacrificing time with their families and time away from their family just to keep America the way that it's supposed to be. But we've gotten so far away from that it might not it might be too too late to turn back now. Um hoping for the best, hoping everyone out there is blessed. Stick with your loved ones, stick with your friends, stick with your internet friends and everything will be all right. I always say it. Until next time this is highly combustible signing out.